Good morning! Welcome to day 8 of Vlogmas. I can't believe it's already day 8 and I have been struggling with editing but I feel like I've been getting better. It's all thanks to you guys. But I'm off to an early start today. It's currently 7.37am. I'm already in my car defrosting so that I can make it to physical therapy. I'm very excited because I haven't been in a while. Um, and I'm in athletic clothes because my PT always gives me a hard time about not being in athletic clothes and she always works me so hard. So I'm going to go and then I'll see you there. I know it feels hard, but it looks good. Okay, so what do you mean this is hard to do with something in both hands? It's, well, it's heavy. <laughs> it's my bag is usually heavier. Your bag? Your yeah. school bag? Yeah. But this does feel easier than the last time I went through. I mean, this is like 10 pounds in your hands. Oh, really? Total. I've gotten stronger, Abita. Okay, stay right here for a second. Don't go downstairs. Okay. I'm holding like this. Okay, when you're coming down, think about keeping your knees slightly bent mm -hmm. instead of like flopping. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we all do it. Like, <laughs> try to control it a little bit. Okay, up looks perfect. Okay. There you go. Your legs are shaking. <laughs> I wonder why. We've <laughs> <laughs> done a lot. I appreciate it. Okay, this is the last time up. 
Easy. Yay. Amazing. Let's go. Okay. Hey guys, I'm finally done with PT for today and the week. Um, today was another productive one. I made progress in almost all of my sections and I met a lot of my long-term goals, so I'm very excited about that. But yeah, now I'm gonna head home, eat a nice breakfast, and we're probably gonna head out to the Amish market um, because for my birthday, all I really asked for was pork belly, which is like the Korean barbecue that I had a couple of days ago. And it's a lot better quality and just a lot cheaper at the Amish market than like any Korean store or like an American grocery store. So we're just gonna head there, but yeah, thanks for watching my PT today. We're here at the Dutch Country Farmers Market in Laurel, Maryland. Let's see what we can find. So we're at the market and it's my first time here in like 10 years and nothing much has changed It's just a lot more variety Price is still unbeatable Everything looks so good Quality is great There's such like interesting things here They have like fresh pineapple juice Ooh They have like a raspberry lemon tea um, But yeah, I'm so excited Look at the variety of cheeses. They have cranberry, pineapple, raspberry, walnut, strawberry, hot jalapeno chai. It's crazy. We found the pork belly. So it's $5.29 a pound here and it's fresh and it's local. But it's $8.99 in Korean stores and that's still cheap than usual. So this is really, really good quality. Such a wide variety of chocolate. They have like seasonal items, so a lot of Christmas things right now. Look at all these delicious goodies. And they have like chocolate covered marshmallows. These are only a dollar each. And they have candy apples. These are so good. Like these are literally only two dollars each. And they would usually be like what, eight or ten? Crazy and they look so good. Mm. And we ate lunch and now we're at H Mart to go Korean grocery shopping. We always buy so much when we come here. Oh, oh my gosh. Yo, that is so cute. It's like a cocktail friend seaweed wrapping. <laughs> but yeah, this store is pretty big for one in like a smaller town. Look at how big this tiger shrimp is. Oh, this, these are also tiger shrimp. Uh, I love seafood. So they also have like Korean items and these pots behind me um, were traditionally used to store Korean food and they were put under the ground because we didn't have refrigerators back in the day. But a lot of like older adults still use it. Um, like for a lot of like thicker, like not sauces, but like, I don't know what it's called. I guess the closest thing to be sauces like a lot of the soups that we make are made out of thick sauce that you pre-make and a lot of those don't go bad for a while but yeah you would store them in these um but i always like coming here because they have so many varieties of like all different like asian foods and so many new products are released so frequently like it, of course it's like not as great as like korean selection but like for example this so there's a dish called jajangmyeon, which is like Chinese style Korean food and it's like kind of like a sweet dark sauce. Um, but this is like a mix of that and tteokbokki, which if you saw in my other vlog was like that red um, dish with like the rice cakes in it. But it's like both, it's like the best of both worlds and it goes so well with like fried egg. So good. But I'm basically in the cold noodle section now because that's what our family loves the most. But I could spend hours in here personally. <laughs> Welcome to my favorite section where there are all the sweets and all the crackers because no matter what anyone says, Korean and Asian chips are way better than American ones. Like for example, this no ordinary choco pie. It's a green tea choco pie. I love choco pie so much. There's so many new ones. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Guys, this is Korean hot fried chicken flavored chips. Why have I not seen these yet? Oh. Oh, you know what's another favorite of mine? 
All of my non-Korean friends love this. It's called crown sando and it's basically like thin like cracker with a layer of like strawberry cream but it's not too sweet. So good. So yeah, I was left here alone which is not a smart idea but I'm just waiting for my mom to pick up some of the things that she needs. So I'm going to take a look at all the new things that are behind me and in front of me and I'll try to stop myself. We'll see. So yeah. What a successful H Mart trip looks like. This is actually a lot less than we usually get. Because it's the middle of the month, we don't need that much. But yeah, we're happy. I have things that I wanted and I limited myself to one chip, so I'm happy. All right, as always, thank you for staying with me until the very end. And if you're still around at Vlogmas Day, I appreciate you. Um, make sure to join the giveaway that I mentioned in Vlogmas Day 6 and read all the rules and make sure you go through all of them for a chance to get one of $250 grand prizes. And finally, join me tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 9. Bye!